What's up, Aquarius? It's West Coast Tarot with your end of September love general reading. This is for my lovely Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading and may not resonate with every Aquarius out there. But if you like my style and I vibed with you, please like and subscribe to catch future West Coast Tarot videos. Also, if you want to purchase a personal reading with me or want to know about any of the tarot decks that I use, I always list all that information down below as well as how to contact me with questions. So guys, this is a general as always. Roles can be reversed. Energies can be reversed. And cross watchers, this very well may play out from your perspective or be a message for you. So just apply it where it fits. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Okay. So Spirit, please bring forth the current energies of Aquarius. Tell me about the current love energy for end of September going into October. Tell me about Aquarius, please. Tell me about Aquarius in love. End of September going into October. Current energies, please. Nine of coins, seven of coins in reverse, the lovers, three of swords reverse, ten of coins reverse, and queen of coins reverse. Bottom of the deck we have five of cups. So this is an energy of reflection. I feel like someone is looking upon a situation with disappointment. Um, there was some grieving here. There was a lot of sadness. This was an emotional loss. This was a loss to the heart. Okay, but I feel like there is some regrets here and there is remorse. Okay, so um, this can be your energy looking upon a situation, Aquarius, or someone is definitely saddened by their choice of action when it came down to you. Okay. Um, your recent past, we have the Nine of Coins. You guys have been doing your thing. Um, I feel like you guys are just really trying to take care of yourself, really trying to focus on money, your pentacles, really just trying to be independent. You're working hard for your independence. It's also Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel like you guys are just taking care of yourself. Why is Nine of Coins here, please? Tell me about the recent past for Aquarius. Yeah, you guys became independent from a situation that was very burdening. Um, you guys accomplished a lot, and I feel like, you know, you were burdened by something, but you're freeing yourself. You're becoming independent from that situation. Yep, you moved on. You moved on from a situation. Um, some of you literally moved out. You left home, but you're independent from a situation. How you're being seen, we have seven of coins in reverse. So someone could be distracted by you. Someone feels that they put a lot of time and effort or hard work into a situation and they didn't get any results um, from that. You know, they feel that all their time invested in with you may have been in vain or may have been for nothing. Ooh. Spirit, why is seven of coins here, please? I feel like someone's not happy. Someone's not happy about their loss of you, okay? Um, someone could be drinking here or overindulging as well. Clarify Nine of Cups. We have Taurus energy, but I definitely feel like there's someone here... You know, you could have been married to this person. So someone could be seeing you as married as well. But what I'm pulling from here is I feel like right now you guys are just kind of going in tune with your spiritual side. The Hierophant's a very spiritual card. And I feel like you guys are just becoming more spiritual. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be religion necessarily. It could just be awakening to, you know, other movements or just opening up to spirit or the divine. 
in your own personal way, you know, your own, what works for you, your own truth. And I feel like this person, you know, may not be happy that you feel that you maybe have outgrown them or that they may not be on your vibe. And so I feel like this person is from the outside looking in upset, okay? What's coming towards you? We have the lovers. This is Gemini energy. But I feel like you guys have a new connection coming towards you. For some of you, it could be the old person. Um, but I feel like this is someone who fits you, okay? Now, they are surrounded by snow. This is cold time, so it could go towards... It could just start being the works of blossoming, but it could get hot and heavy around um, December or, you know, the very cold months. And I feel like there's someone here who desires you, wants you, could be a great partner, can form a great union with you, okay? Why is the lovers here, please? But some of you have a, a relationship coming towards you or a partnership, okay? If this is a person from the past, this is someone who's going to approach you the correct way and apologize, admit their wrongdoings. Um, someone who's rethinking their approach, okay? That's if there's someone from the past. If this is a new person, this is someone who's taking off their false mask and revealing that they have feelings for you, okay? Um... They're going to be honest that they have liked you and that they have always liked you. Okay, so that could be for new or past. Clarify seven of swords, please. Too many. Clarify seven of swords, please. This very well may be someone from your past. Um who was not stable before. <laughs> this could be, what did I just post on my story? A hobosexual, someone who wants to, you know, come and use you for the purposes of somewhere to live for the winter months, um, <laughs> for living purposes. Um, but I feel like this is definitely someone who might be there to help you, especially if you're going through financial situations or things are just rocky at home. I feel like this person wants to step up, okay? I feel like they want to improve with you, okay? But yeah, I definitely see that's an option too. Some of you might have someone returning towards you, you know, because they want somewhere to stay. That's for a few of you. Okay, um, mutual energy, we do have three of swords, so um, this is definitely an energy of wanting to re recover a situation, wanting to improve, but there's, there's also an energy of moving on. This is for forgive, forget, move on, and I feel like, you know, some of you, all of your situations are going to be different, but I feel like this, there's someone who wants to recover a situation with you, wants to fix this. Or both of you are moving on, okay? Clarify Three of Swords. Why is this here? What is the mutual energy, please? Mutual energy. Yeah, they want to balance out the situation. They want to reunite. They want to be happy. They want to fix a home life with you or they want to move in with you, okay? The, the star card has showed itself to me twice, but it hasn't come out, so. But you guys could be hesitant to work on this with this person. Clarify four of wands, please. Yeah. There definitely was something here that ended. But I feel like this person wants to balance out the situation with you. They want to improve this. They want to fix this. How they feel about you, we have again 10 of coins. So again, 
you know, some of you have every right to question their motive. Make sure that maybe they're not just using you because things are not going so well in their own life. Person feels that things might not be stable with you for some of you. Clarify Ten of Coins. Yeah, they want to fix this. They want to improve because there's, there's nothing as stable as when they were with you. You guys were their everything. And I feel like they're seeing the grass wasn't greener. This person still has emotions for you. Okay, this could be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. It doesn't have to be. Um, but this person still has emotions for you. Advice from Spirit, we have Queen of Coins. So I feel like you just need to be careful. Um, this may not be someone with the best intentions coming towards you. They might be having money issues of their own. They could have, you know, tendencies of, you know, being overbearing or very jealous or smothering as well. But I feel like you guys will overcome this. I feel like you guys will see the situation a mile away. You'll see the big picture and you're going to overcome this challenge. I feel like you'll look at dead on. And you'll overcome. You definitely will overcome. You're going to use your intuition and see. For some of you, this person's coming towards you, but you will see through their intention. You will be prepared. You will be forewarned. You'll be ready to take this on. Angels, what messages do you have for Aquarius for the end of September going into October? In regards to love, please. What message do you have for Aquarius? Ooh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Message for Aquarius, please. Get to know each other. Learning to meet another's needs for love is important for a relationship to grow. So I feel like some of you could be meeting a divorcee too, okay? Um, that's trying to improve his or her life as well. But I feel like there's someone that you need to get to know. I feel like you need to make sure that your guys' intentions are the same. What do you guys want in the future? what you know what do you want in a relationship do you even want a relationship you guys get to need to get to know each other and make sure that this person's intentions are good and that you guys are on the same page as far as what you're looking for and what you want okay miracles and blessings everything has its gift yes even the good and the bad okay um with Every situation that we go through, you may not always see a purpose in it. You may not always see a reason. Like, why would I ever, why would someone hurt me? What was the reason for that? What lesson was that? There's always a lesson. And it also makes you stronger. And I feel like now you guys are being called to rest and relax right now. We all have a fundamental need to take breaks. So I feel like you guys need to rest and really contemplate what it is that you want in life. And I feel like it's going to come towards you. But I feel like you need to make sure that every, that you listen to your intuition. Okay, listen to your intuition when it comes to the situation. Because I feel like sometimes we can jump right in or make a quick decision that isn't always right. Um, and we have to use our head over our heart. We have to listen to our intuition. Okay. So Aquarius, I'm going to leave it here. I feel like no matter what, you will know what to do. You will know how to approach this person. Um, I wish love and light to you guys. If you want a personal reading, that information is down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I will talk to you guys later. Take care.